Uganda's history within the public construction sector has been characterized with high levels of corruption, syndicate and kickbacks, project delays, scope changes, inflated costs with no value for money, lack of trust and limited citizen participation. This is due to the weak compliance with the legal framework, limited information disclosure, and lack of mechanisms for information sharing, hence affecting stakeholder participation in the delivery of infrastructure projects. People are not so much aware of the information of these infrastructures. For example, if you take our own municipal council, the roads that were opened around this country. People were not aware of these projects. People do not know exactly how much were worth these projects. People do not know the quality of these roads. People are not aware of this. We even, first of all, cannot predict which road they are going to work on, which time, when, who is working on it, how much money is for the road, or which company is handling and the rest, we don't have information at all. And here is, when the road is to start, the information is not given clearly to the people. And then how much the, the road is going to cost is not also clearly explained. You find that the, the, only, the constructors, the contractors only come to construct the road without awareing the people how much the road will cost, and then when the contract will end. So that is the challenge we have in accessing information about road construction. Uganda committed to disclose project and contract information using the infrastructure data standard to enhance transparency, accountability, and stakeholder participation in the delivery of infrastructure projects in 2014 when the Uganda National Roads Authority, UNRWA, applied on behalf of government to Coast International to provide infrastructure transparency. Coast, the Infrastructure Transparency Initiative, brings together government, private sector and civil society to enhance transparency and value for money in public infrastructure through the application of its core features of disclosure, assurance, multi-stakeholder working and social accountability. We appreciate cost because uh, when cost came in, it was adding value. It is adding value to what we are doing and uh, also linking, making the public even gain more confidence in what we are doing because uh, it promotes transparency. And it also acts as a, an external check because it's good to have uh, an independent person or an independent organization to check on what you, are, what you are doing or to point out some of the flaws which you may have as an institution. So we appreciate COST very much. Uh, COST establishes national programs that are managed by the multi-stakeholder groups, a champion and a secretariat. Across the globe, COST has an international board and an international secretariat based in London. The initiative is highly known for promoting transparency in public infrastructure. Coast Small Stakeholder Working Arrangement builds trust and sensitizes the public on access to information. At a national level, is, um, with the exception of Guatemala, is not normally registered as a legal entity at a national level. Um, so therefore we need an organisation who is registered as a legal entity um, to provide National Secretary support staff, um, to be able to uh, manage grant funding, etc, etc, procure. The cost scoping study of 2017 revealed a gap in the legal framework. Only 12 of the 40 proactively disclosable data points in the infrastructure data standard are legally recognized, but even of the 12, only 20% is disclosed. Information is very, very important to help people, first of all, to know what the government is doing, but also to participate in ensuring that the project um, that is put on the ground reflects what is really on the, uh, in the contract. Now, other than this information that I have talked about, uh, that should be disclosed even without citizens asking for it, uh, there is other information which could be uh, disclosed through um, 
Access to Information Act by people asking for it. Cost is not fault finding and neither a duplication of what exists, but it identifies measures that can be used to correct procedure. What we want is transparency and value for money. The moment these things are done transparently, people get to know what is being done for them. There will generate the growing the appreciation will be growing up and people will appreciate what you do. Cost comes to Uganda with experiences from other countries to create impact and take Uganda's experience to other countries. COST strengthens institutional frameworks for transparency and disclosure by making transparency everyone's interest. I was also very impressed to hear that many of you were willing to sacrifice pieces of land in order to give the road its required. Information is disclosed at all levels of the project life cycle using the infrastructure data standard. COST supports procurement entities to establish disclosure frameworks, conducts independent studies on individual projects, identifies best practices and areas of improvement, makes recommendations for improvements, and where need be, the initiative's assurance team supports the entities to address the gaps. The data by itself is, is just data points and to, to, to be useful it needs to be turned into meaningful information. So it's, it is analysed and you can see patterns emerging perhaps, perhaps patterns of, of cost overruns, patterns of delays in approvals, uh, patterns of missing, missing data or um, incomplete or inaccurate data. So that's where the cost assurance really comes into its own because Cost can work with the procuring entity to take the official data and turn it into information that can be used to develop re recommendations that will improve performance by that procuring entity. The cost assurance process provides evidence on the challenges within the individual projects and proposes possible remedies to address them. Uh, we have been having problems accessing the data from the uh, from the designs and the, how much is needed, what is supposed to be done, we have been getting problems. But with cost around, they, we now get the information very readily. And as soon as you get the information, you can come and check and say, no, you have not raised the road enough. This evidence can inform cost savings, contract reviews, citizen participation, policy reviews, development of disclosure frameworks and portals, and most importantly, an appreciation of government's work and value for money. You'll find that a number of contracts are signed, for example, here in Kampara, to be executed in rural communities. So the supervising agent uh, or the client is probably Minister of Works or Minister of Education or Minister of Health here. They are not on the ground every day to see if what they expect the contractor to put on the ground is actually what is being put there. So by residents who are going to benefit from this project, knowing what is expected of this uh, project, then they can help on behalf of government to supervise and make sure that the contractor does the right thing. COST believes in dialogue, mutual understanding and evidence-based engagement. COST supported the alignment of the KCCS user platform for disclosure to the IDS and more projects have been disclosed on the project in the last one year. Yeah, we have a series of projects there going on. You see from start to start. Right now, Charles and team have gone to this one which is under batch 2 from Emin going through to Kajas Bunamaya. We call it Bunamaya Road. We have a series of projects. It's important, it's important to choose. So let us use that multi pronged approach to ensure that we anchor subsequently in the relationship between Coast uh, Uganda and KCC. Wakiso District Local Government has almost enjoyed the lion's share, having embraced cost fully. COST supported the district to comply with the legal framework on procurement and implementation on the 10.2 km Namasuva Ndeje Chituko Road in Makindye Sabagabo Municipality. A consultant was procured to supervise the project. The community was engaged about the project and in turn offered land without compensation. 
Radio programs have been initiated to inform the citizens about the district's infrastructure work and more disclosure on site has been done. I must congratulate this community for having opened us the, the, the way for other projects within Wakiso. Otherwise, if we had suffered the initial setback of people rejecting this project, it would be very disastrous for Wakiso. Convince government that we are, able, we are capable of performing. Leaders have also come on board to appreciate the work of COAST. COAST International, I want to assure you that the principles you have brought to us of transparency, accountability and participation are principles that we ought to have included in our projects. But because of some reasons, we have been lagging behind. But I want to assure you that what so district is going to adopt these principles within our policy framework because they are really good. A situation where we come together and interface with the communities is a situation we should continue to do. Quality assurance, uh, acceptance has been low, but with cost, uh, there is an infrastructure data standard that we are using that has been adopted. And when you get that infrastructure data standard and you apply it to the different infrastructure projects being implemented, then you identify which information is being disclosed about a project. Information about project start date, project end date, who is the contractor, what is actually the project being involved in. Sometimes it is merrymaking and appreciation when the procurement entities have taken action on cost recommendations. We've registered a lot of uh, support from different uh, procurement entities and different government agencies. For example, the Ministry of Works, which is now the champion uh, to cost Uganda, the local governments like Wakiso, um, Human Rights Self, it provided us the, uh, with the support and we were able to monitor the works, e.g. this bridge which crosses the River Nile on the other side. So uh, the perception is largely good. Uh, we hope for better law. Cost is about you and me coming together to find means of bettering our infrastructure. When you don't know something, ask and government should be willing to respond. A better infrastructure is everyone's pride. Why then not take action now? Better lives from better infrastructure.